Hey guys, it's Kobe with Rural Bible Reviews. Um, coming at you again this week with another Bible review. Um, I've got to spend a few days with this uh, Bible that I got from the Lockman Foundation. Uh, this week, it's the NASB uh, Reference Bible 2020 edition. Um, if you remember earlier this week, I did an unboxing video where they sent this out to me. Um, so <clears throat> it comes in this uh, sleeve here. So I will let you guys see this. It is maroon leather text. It is paragraph formatting, two column text, color maps, and it is a black letter edition. I will flip that over. That way you guys can pause it for your ISBN number there. And then that way you can see the uh, features of it here. But this is the Bible, and it is what they call a maroon leather text. Um, to me, it's kind of more brown um, than maroon, maybe a burgundy type, but I, I really like the color, like I'd said before. The previous one I had, if you guys remember on the channel that um, I reviewed, it was the uh, Thin Line, and it was a blue leather text, and the material on both of them feel totally different. But this one, um, like I said, it is the maroon leather text. There is no perimeter stitching, but this almost feels, I um, was watching Randy Brown. He did his review on this. Um, he also got the um, the Prime Edition, which, man, let me tell you, I, I really do want one of those. That, that Prime Edition looks really nice. But um, he said that if he didn't know any better, and I kind of agree with him, this almost feels like a a genuine leather, you know, like the ones that people put out, um, you know, that isn't, it's not a premium, but it's just a good leather, but this is a good feeling, you know, material, but here is your spine. You see Holy Bible. And, um, like I mentioned before, I like how they didn't do that in all caps. And I like how it's just kind of blind stamped in there, but Holy Bible, new American standard, um, Bible 2020. Then you got, um, reference Bible in NASB and Lockman Foundation, you've got one, two, three, four, five tooled-in hubs, and those actually are kind of tooled in. And then you turn it over, and you've got your ISBN on the back. It is gold gilded, no art gilding, because you know this is a uh, not a prime edition, uh, not a premium edition. You do have brown uh, head and tail bands, as you can see there, and you've got two ribbons, one brown, one black. And these are really good ribbons, but um, the features of this, it is a nine and a half point um, text. It is lime matched. Um, it's a two column text. Like I say, it is paragraph format. It does have references at the bottom, but it does have the minimum um, set of the translation footnotes, which makes sense because of the size of this Bible. Um, they just call it the reference Bible, but on their website, they list it as a, a great handy size. A uh, new American Standard Bible, which I agree because this is a uh, it's a really good good size, but it does say it has ninety five thousand bottom of the page cross references. So and then the minimum uh, translator notes. It is Smith sewn, so that does help, um, and it does have maps and uh, everything. And we'll get to all that in the back here in a few minutes. But you open it up, it does have a vinyl uh, paste down liner. And it is really stiff. It had to be worked with there to get it to lay open. And then you've got your presentation page. You've got marriages. You've got wife's family tree, husband's family tree, births, deaths. And I believe that's it. Let me make sure. And occasions to remember. Then you got your title page, New American Standard. Um, now, I did find out that this is the same paper that's in the Prime Edition. It is a 33 GSM, and it's a coated paper, um, which you can you can feel the coating on it. It's really neat. Uh, then you have your publisher's page here, um, New American NASB 2020 Reference Bible. Um, this is made or printed in Korea, so... And then you have your foreword, uh, which I always recommend reading those. You know, you guys know me. And get to the books of the Bible. And then you got your Old Testament title page. And then see how it doesn't want to really lay flat. But the Prime Edition, when Randy was reviewing his, it, it laid flat, no problem. But there you go. You get to your text. Uh, you see the name of the book up top really bold. I like that. Genesis in all caps. Um, 
and then you got your double column paragraph format. Now I do, um, it is a nine and a half point font, but I, it looks a little bigger to me. I don't know. Um, but it reads really well. Like I say, I, I like the spacing. It does have the, um, even on the left side and then the jagged on the right there. And then, um, like I say, it's easy to turn and grip and pull the paper, but I'm going to kind of do this. That way I'll lay flat. As you can see, there's your um, footnotes and your references here at the bottom. Uh, to me, they look, I mean, they're easy to see. Um, they're not real, real tiny. So, um, you know, like you, you know, I've told you guys before, I'm almost 50. I don't have the best eyesight, but I can see that no problem. Um, but I, I do like the way it's laid out here and everything. Um, usually I'm a verse by verse guy, which I still am, but, but this isn't bad at all. Um, I do like it. Uh, but we'll flip through here. Let me get over here to the Psalms. That way you can see a, uh, poetry setting. Now I am going to show you something that I noticed. I was going through this, uh, last night and I was, um, separating the pages because, you know, with the new Bible, sometimes the gilding, it wants to, um, you know, the, the gilding wants to stick. So since this is a paragraph format, as you can see, it's indented every time you got a new paragraph, right? Well, in your uh, poetry setting, and like the Psalms here, you've got a pilcrow and the verse number's bolded. So that way it's verse by verse and it's laid out, but it's still easy to see where your paragraph break is. I thought that was kind of neat. Um, I do like how um, it has the explanation here uh, at the beginning of Psalms there. Uh, so you can see it, and it does have it broke up in the different books. So, but this is your poetry section. It is easy to to read. Like I say, <clears throat> with it being line match, there's minimum ghosting. As you guys know, the camera is going to pick up more than what there is. But like I say, it's not. This is really good paper. Um, me looking at it here, I, I don't see a lot of ghosting at all. Um, you know that that's just me, but I I just don't. Um, this is a really good Bible, but anyways, we'll flip here. We're going to get to the new Testament so you guys can see this and let me get over here. I've got it bookmarked, of course, but I want to show you. I'm sure you guys know I'm predictable. I'm going to go to the Beatitudes, the Sermon on the Mount. You know me, but just like with the, uh, Old Testament, you've got, the end of the Old Testament, New Testament, and then you just get into the New Testament. Now, here's your black ribbon. As you can see, this is a black letter text, um, which I like. So that is a preference of mine. Um, so that, that they did good on that. And also, just like all other New Americans, as you can see, when there's an Old Testament quote, it is in caps. I really like that about the New American Standard. I wish more... Bible publishers made a difference and, and did that. I know with the uh, CSB, I think they bold theirs um, and indent it. So they, they make a difference, but the ESV doesn't. So, but anyway, this, um, like I say, this is just an easy to read. It's a good carry Bible. It's not very big at all. Um, you know, if you're a no American 2020 person to me. Um, I think this would be a good one to pick up, especially at the price. And I'll leave a link down below. But you can order this from Lockman for $22.39. I mean, and they have this color, which is the maroon leather text. They have a blue leather text, which has a blue marker and a black marker. They have a brown leather text, which is more of a dark brown. And it has the same color mar uh, ribbon markers as this one, the brown and the black. And then you've got a black genuine leather, which has a black and a red, and it's $41.99. It's not the prime edition. It's just a genuine leather. But now you go to the premium, the prime, and it's $189 on Lotman's uh, website. And it comes either in black goat skin or brown goat skin. Of course, it's going to have your raised hubs, uh, your red under gold gilding, your uh, gold gilt line. You know, uh, uh, instead of a vinyl paste down, it's going to be edge lined, and it's going to have a... A leather liner in it and everything so so it's going to be um be a lot different but you know you'll have perimeter stitching and things like that but all right so we get to the end here of revelation and as you can see it just ends and then you have your topical index of the old and new testament and again that's a good font it's easy to read not hard you know not hard on the eyes at all at least not on mine 
and you can see it's already wanting to raise up there a little bit. But like I say, with over time breaking it in, you know, it'll it'll lay down. It, it won't be a problem. So, and then we get to the back here. Let's see. All right. There's the Z. Get to the end. And then they, just like in the other one, you have your introductions to the books of the Bible in the back, which is very different to me. Um, now, it's not a detailed introduction. You know, it doesn't give you the time of the writing, who wrote it, anything like that. But it does give you the introduction telling you about, you know, the, the book that you're going to be, you know, reading there. So, it, you know, kind of gives you a little bit of an outline there. But anyway, um, so you have those. And then... Once you get to the end of those, then you come through a reading plan here where you can read through the Bible in a year. And then that's a couple of three pages there. Then you get to the parables of Jesus. I'm trying not to just go straight to the maps, but it's on that thicker paper, so it's kind of hard to. And then you go to, oh, sorry. And it still continue the miracles of Jesus. Is that it? Parables of Jesus, then the miracles of Jesus. Sorry, sorry, yeah. And then you got your your maps, um, and they're on the glossy cardstock. And then there's one, you know a few of them here. And like I say, I like their maps. I like the colors on them. I don't like the glossy cardstock, but I do like the colors on theirs. It looks different. They're very detailed maps too. And then you get to your vinyl end sheet and your vinyl there, and then that's it. Like I say, you got your ISBN on the back. So. Guys, let me know what you think. I, I think this is a really good Bible, um, especially for the price. You can't beat it. Um, and knowing that this has the same paper as the Prime Edition makes a world of difference, in my opinion. Um, to me, it's just, you know, this would be a good rebind candidate. Or, uh, like Randy said, what he recommended was, if you really like this Bible, you know, you could carry this one. This could be like a beater. You know, you don't have to worry about what necessarily what happens to it. And then get the prime edition uh, to have, you know, one that you can take care of a little bit better and everything. Not beat up on it as much. But, um, but yeah, I, I think this is a really well-made Bible, like I say. Um, you know, the gilding's nice on it and everything. I like the material on it. It uh, does feel, doesn't feel like a cheap uh, material to me, you know, it's got a good feel, it's got a good grippy feel, but like I say, as you can see, you know, it's a, it's a good, good size Bible. It's not real thick. Um, now I do know that the, um, prime edition is a little bit, uh, thicker and a little bit bigger just because of the, you know, it's got a little bit of overhang with the yap and everything on it. So, um, but yeah, this is, this is a good size little Bible here, but like I say, I'm going to leave a link down below, uh, where you can pick this up and, um, just wanted to let you know, I also hit a hundred subscribers this week. So I appreciate you guys getting me there. Um, here soon we're going to do a, a giveaway. Um, I'll have to, uh, find, figure out which one I want to give away. I've got several Bibles here that I could uh, possibly give away, but I'll do a giveaway for helping me get to the hundred, uh, hundred subscriber mark. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure to share the video. Oh, and happy 4th of July weekend. This is when this is going up. Um, I'll have the links down below for my Facebook and my Instagram. Also for the buy me a coffee link, if you're interested in that. I'll also have a link for the comparison between the new American Standard 95 and the 2020 edition. And then I'll have a link to where you can buy uh, this one in the different colors. Um, I've got some more reviews coming soon. I got one next week that's coming up that um, one that I just picked up last weekend, a Bible. And then I've got a friend of mine. He is sending me two of his Bibles to review. And then another friend of mine is sending me a Bible to review that's going to be a treat for me because it's a Bible. Um, it's a premium Bible, but it's one that I don't own. And uh, a, a company, that a, a manufacturer that I don't own one. And it's got uh, something special about it that I've always wanted to see in person. So I'm very, very excited about that. So... Um, I, I know he said he's going to send it out to me next week. So as soon as I get those in, I'll be reviewing those. But to so be on the lookout for those. But like I say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys have a safe and happy 4th of July. Uh, don't eat too much. I know we're planning on eating quite a bit with our family. But 
Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, um, you can leave them below or you can send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. And until next time, grace and peace.